Bill, we'll start with you. you here's your new latest stallion coming to the <laughs> forefront. Who knows when, but just your thoughts on what you saw yesterday. Well, we saw more of, of what we expect from him. I mean, he just, you know, he's, he, the race really set up the way you would think on paper. You know, life is good, went out and, and did the best he could for as long as he could. But this is what Flightline does. He, he pushes the pace so so much that he strings the race out and I mean he just unfortunately for the for the pace setter he breaks their heart and that's what he that's what he did yesterday. It was just phenomenal performance. When you said this is what he does, still going into each race, is that what you expect or is it just well, hard? You, You've been around yeah. your whole life. Yeah, you never expect you never expect it. You just hope he you know you know he's capable of it and so every time you see it it's it's pretty awesome. Did you come back to the barn last night? Um, I didn't come back to the barn last night. Um, a lot of a lot did, and uh, you know, just I didn't. I had so many people in town, and, and trying to trying to keep everybody going. It was a fun night, though. When when flight line was coming up on Life Is Good in the turn, we saw you know, and we've seen this before, but. Can you describe how you never get sick of it? You just notice that it's almost like, doo, 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 yeah, yeah. you know, that kind of a thing. Boy, when you, you know, when you could see Flavian looking back, back, he knew, he knew that he had life is good. So, and there was nobody coming. So it, it, it's almost exactly like the Pacific Classic. It's just said life is good is a better horse and, and, you know, strung it out longer, but the result was inevitable, I think. Did you, even though, and I know that the board was wrong with the time when it showed 107 and 4 when it was really 109 and change, but when you saw the number and you saw how they were going and how far out they were, you know, in, in just a garden variety race, you just wonder, well, they're going to come back. Did, you, yeah. did that ever enter your mind? Never entered my mind. <laughs> Never entered my mind. I, I, I didn't worry about that at all. Well, you've seen a lot of horses in your lifetime, a lot of great horses. After seeing this performance yesterday, how do you... Compare him. Where do you rank him? What is he? What does he mean to the sport? Well, I mean, he's he's got to be up there with the best that have, that have run. I mean, he's you know he didn't you know because he didn't run much at three or didn't run the classics at three. Uh, it's harder to you know for people I think to put him in that category. But he's you know he's doing it all as a four-year-old, which is. You know, three-year-old races are for three-year-olds, and then there's nothing restricted about what he's doing, and it's just phenomenal to watch. He, you know, he's got to be up there with this, the best of all time, and to have the pedigree and the looks that he has on top of it is amazing. Is there any chance he might race again like in Pegasus? Has there been any discussion? Yeah, well, we're, there's definitely been discussion, but we're, you know, again, we're we still haven't had a chance to, to get everybody together, so we're going to do that today, and um, we'll decide. I mean, I, I, who runs against them? Yeah, and what does it mean, too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. who, who runs against them? I'm sure that enters into it, but you, you insurance is a, like you don't have to insure for, but you know, full value or whatever. I mean, it's that's that, that wouldn't be a primary concern. What is full value right now in your mind? I don't know. No limit. The good thing is that we don't really have to find out. We'll find out what one share is worth, but, but <laughs> we tomorrow. But we won't. Uh, I, I don't think it'd be fair to say it's worth 40 times that because uh, the scarcity value of, of just one share being available. What can you say in hindsight now about John's patience with this horse, with the setbacks that he had? Well, that's, I mean, John got into a rhythm with this horse early on. And, you know, people would say, well, he didn't run much because you know, his race was so spaced out. But if you look at his work tab, you know, he probably has more works than any horse with it, with that number of starts on, uh, on record. So he's, uh, John just did a phenomenal job. He, was, he, he this horse puts so much into his training and gets so much out of his training that, that he could, he said early on, I can get him ready in five works from scratch, you know, and, and he showed over and over again that he could do that.